Hey, all you rebels out there. This is, uh, once again, another episode of Cracked Dice Gaming. Sorry for the long hiatus, but uh, we are back with some quality content about old Galaxy Shuffle. With me, uh, of course, I'm Captain Chicago. Uh, Captain Chicago. And with me, I have... Frank and Chewy. And uh, Chick Donovan. And Chicky D and Cranky Chewy, yep. Uh, so, hey, we're going to be talking mm-hmm. about some uh, cards. We're going to be talking about a little bit of old Galaxy Shuffle play action and uh some things like that so uh uh stay tuned for some quality content here all right real quality real quality exactly all right right, so what are we gonna start with hey uh as uh chicky d you want to talk about your recent uh demo deck i don't know what gameplay endeavor yeah something like that yeah yeah I'll, I'll, i'll go over so i live in a area close enough to where I could go to the PAX Unplugged. So uh, the old, old Crank and Chewy and old Cap and Chicago don't because they're weird and uh, they're trash and they're stinky. So uh, I had to go without them. But but it was fine. It was, it, 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 it was fun to go without them for once. Sure. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, no. Um, I'm giving the smack down. He wanted to actually be able to yeah, 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 yeah. win a game or two. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Right. You know, right. 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 The Destiny Hungarian yeah. national champion. You know, you you, you don't want to go mm-hmm. against that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, come on. The, no one cares about. No. No one's even heard of that. You know. Anyways, moving on. Uh, so to pack the play, I just went for one day. Um, so that's, that's all I have really time for. And uh, of course, did the the Star Wars Unlimited slash Galaxy Shuffle demos. Went through that a, a few times, and uh, I had it was a, it was a, honestly, you know, it was a good experience. I thought FFG ran a smooth ship there during the demos. All the people from FFG were super nice, super kind. Uh, met guys like Josh, Tyler, old designer Jeremy, of course, Mister Xander, the community engagement specialist himself, who said along with Josh that they had heard of Cracked Ice Gaming. Yeah. Now, just because now, now here's the thing. Just because someone's heard of you doesn't mean they appreciate you. So yeah, yeah, we are. Uh, just, you know, I think we're on the top of the band list, basically. <laughs> we're, we're, I actually think it's yeah. Sir Christopher and then us are, are right underneath. Sir <laughs> Christopher, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't we're, assume that we're above Sir Christopher by any means. But I think pretty much no one's above Sir Christopher, and then Crack Dice Gaming. Yeah, it yeah. Might be us next. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we <laughs> so yeah, we're on the whiteboard in permanent marker yeah. on the band list. Sharpie, they, yeah. they sharpie this in. Sharpie, they sharpie so this in. is like is like it's engraved, you know, in, the engraved in there, like just yeah, they yeah, carved it's his name board. out. It's not he is board. on the whiteboard He's forever. Like, they would literally have to have get to rid of the whiteboard to get rid of him. Yeah, they'd literally have to spackle his name filled again. They'd yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then right us, yeah. under us in Sharpie is, uh, yeah, Crack Dice Gaming. Sharpie, exactly. yeah, yeah. So, hey, let's talk so, about some, no, uh, yeah. No, 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 wait, let me finish. Oh, oh, oh okay. Doing, oh, you want to talk about the gameplay? Oh, uh, okay, okay. So, oh, the are, game are, we, are we not done? Wait, wait, you did, you did get some autographs. I, I got, signatures, right? I got more stuff to talk about, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was able to, to get a signature from both. Uh, Jeremy's where I had him sign some of my Destiny cards. Uh, the ones he designed, of course, like the Ray and the Kylo, uh, because, uh, you know, it's cool, I guess. I don't know. Some people think it's cool. Uh, like it's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. No, but then doesn't. Mr. Tyler, Ty, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Mr. Champion. Tyler Pear, oh. the people's champion. I said, I go up to Tyler and I said, hey, uh, could you sign these uh, Star Wars Unlimited demos for me? And, uh, you know, I didn't even have to prompt him. He knew right away what I was asking for. And on the card, he signs, do the galaxy shuffle. And I don't know if it was just my card he signed that on. He might have been signing every cards, every card like that, telling everybody to do the galaxy shuffle. You, never know. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, he he might be, you know, I, I don't want to speak for anybody, but he might be frustrated with the name of the game, too. And before release, he's also trying to get it changed to Galaxy Shuffle. I yeah, think it's yeah. kind of grown on Mr. Tyler. Um, yeah. You know, it might be kind of a logistical nightmare to change it. But, you know, sometimes you got to go through the pain to, to get the joy of a new name. So I don't know. Yeah. I could be wrong. 
but there might be internal conversations about changing the name based on uh, one signature I got from Tyler that he signed Galaxy Shuffle <laughs> on the card. Based on the one yeah. signature yeah. he signed Galaxy Shuffle. Yeah. 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 Well, you know the, now, you know the I, problem. I, I there, so. well, they tried to change the name. Then they're going to have to give Chris royalties on, on the game. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> all, of a sudden, all of a sudden, Sir Chris yeah. starts getting royalty checks in the mail and he's like, what the? Yeah. Alex, oh. Sir hey. Chris removes yeah. to the. Uh, or like 25 the cents, you know, like, like he'll get yeah. like. Like you know, fifty Half like this quarter cent. today. Yeah, you get like fifty or sixty or hundred like two cent royalty yeah. checks. It wouldn't be worth signing. Like you have like a pile of like of like five hundred royalty checks each for two two cents, and you'll have to just go through and like sign each every one of them. <laughs> yeah, he'll sh he'll shred those. Yeah, he'll like shred those before he takes a dime from FFG. <laughs> he'll shred them. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, that would make a great podcast, yeah, anyway, or not a podcast. It would make a great uh, 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 YouTube or something like that. You know, where he's just sh shredding, shredding, shredding the, the, the the quarter checks. Yeah, yeah that'd, be, that'd awesome. be funny. Yeah. So, but I, I will add. Um, you know, I was like, just like when I went up to Tyler, I was like super flustered and just you know couldn't control myself. I couldn't contain myself, and so I, I said something to him before. I don't remember what it was. Maybe that prompted him to write Galaxy Shuffle. I, I'm. I might have asked. I don't think I did, though. I don't remember. Um, so I, I, based on my testimony, I don't remember. I think he just did it under his own influence, under his own will. So, oh, I don't know, you I don't, know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah. From what I heard, uh, from what last, I heard you asked him to do it. But, you know. I well, forget. I, I can't I, remember. I, it was I, like I, yesterday. I feel like I feel like we've pushed this galaxy shuffle thing so, so much that if Sir, Fr is, Chris, Sir Christopher gets a royalty check for two cents. We should get at least yeah. a half a cent or something like that. <laughs> like, like, yes, like, I agree. I, I think we've adopted Galaxy Shuffle as much or more than anybody else, aside from Sir Christopher himself. I mean, yeah, we run the Galaxy Shuffle podcast, yeah. guys. You know, I mean, yeah, exactly. Like, this is okay, this like, is the only Galaxy we should, Shuffle podcast. We should probably, we should probably like, uh, what do you call it when you make a name where nobody else can take it, uh, like patent the name or something patent like that, or patent it, or LCC that name or something. Hey, look, FFG though, if you yeah. if, if you want to make a Galaxy Shuffle card in the next set or two, you know, let us know. Reach out to us, you know, we'll we'll, mm. we'll help you design that card. You know, it'll be really fun. Yes, and, uh, we will. You know, we, they we, said we, they're we, like we will take seven sets in development though. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, you're like, you, you look, I mean, you could, or something you know, like that. You could always just add another card, you know. I mean, right? Is that how that works? Uh, a just promo just... or like a not a promo, but like a, uh, I forget the term. Yeah, you 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 can definitely do that. Yeah, it won't be an issue. Yeah, not right. no, it won't be. Much did much did the uh, did the promo no. cards actually have unlimited on the back, or did it say Galaxy Shuffle? Uh the ones from the demos. Yeah, the demo cards. Did they have anything on the back? Right. There was there wasn't it well it's the, the dual sided card, the the flippy card. It's the leader, so Oh, they were all leader cards, oh. right? Oh, okay. Does it yeah. say like so like, I could be wrong on the bottom or something? Uh I don't think it has the name on it, honestly. Yeah, so hypothetically uh have but mine does say Galaxy Shuffle on it, so I, I do know that for sure. Uh, <laughs> the, the I, I will be selling those for five hundred dollars a piece if anyone <laughs> yeah. wants to buy it. <laughs> He's talking about you guys sold that shit. Come on. Like, yeah, if someone wants to give me five hundred dollars, I will sell. Hey man, it. that could be that could, <laughs> if it changes to Galaxy Shuffle, those could be worth some bucks. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Like the first. This the is first true. Cards, you know what? First Galaxy signed by. Cards. Yeah, you know, my college tuition, and we got a deal. So on the on the bottom of the cards no. themselves, the actual cards online, anyway, it says. Are you uh, looking at the promo? Uh oh, I'm not looking at the promo. I'm just looking at one of the cards online. But it has like the the you know the the artist name. Then it says F or L F L. That's their licensing. Yeah, that's the licensing. And I'm pretty FFG, sure. and then. It doesn't say anything about um, S O R in English, but it doesn't say anything about unlimited at all on it that I can see. Well, wow. 
Does there you the, go. Do you see anything on the promos with anything that says here? Already? Let me let me let me let me let me pull it out right. Let me look. Keep. I got I got them right here. Let's see. Um, I don't think so. See, no, same. nowhere on it does it mention Star Wars on the There you go, boom, boom, event boom. exclusive. So I don't know. There you go. Uh, one quick, one quick story. I haven't told anyone. Well, not anyone, I guess, but I haven't told either Crank and Chewy or Captain Chicago about this story because I wanted it to be fresh on the podcast, right? So it's my last, my last demo game, right? I'm about to pack it up for the night and, and come back, right? And uh, I, I wanted to see the demo decks. They're thirty decks, right? Yeah. Or thir- thirty cards. And I noticed in the first uh, couple games that I was kind of going through them quick, right? And uh, yeah. I wanted to see if I could win by mill. And so Why? I tried to win. I because I thought it'd be fun, you know, just to just to you know. Mm-hmm. For, for whatever right and so uh i ended up losing by mill right Wait, so what? me me and my opponent we both run we both run out of cards right well actually um so here's here's the situation right my opponent has one card one card left on deck and one in their hand and we both have like 20 ish damage on base right yeah and it was the i am your father card where i can either force them to draw cards or take seven damage on my unit and so they play it, and I'm like, I-, I was nice. It was the demos. And I'm like, I don't think you want to do that because I'm going to make you draw three cards, right? Uh-huh. And that's going to uh, mill your deck out. And you don't lose the game when your deck's milled out, but every time you have to draw a card that you can't, you take three damage to your base. Uh-huh. And so uh, uh, Josh was right there, uh, Josh Massey. And so I said, hey, hey, Josh, you want to explain to us the mill rule? And the interesting thing was, I asked him about the mill rule, and I said, "Okay, so I, I ended up losing that game because because uh, I I have more damage on my base and I lost." But I asked him, I said, "So what happens if we each have equal damage on our base, and we both, you know, would die at the same time in the regroup phase when we have to draw cards? Right? Does it? Right. What does it come down to?" And I assume that whoever had the initiative would win, right? Because oh, it's like that in yeah. it's like that in Destiny. Whoever had the battlefield would you know yeah. win tiebreakers yeah. and stuff. Right. Exactly. But he but he said that they're still having internal conversations about that. That they're still going back and forth on. Well, because because technically whoever has the initiative like does their they do their stuff first. So they would draw first. They would die so they first. Would first. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're still kind of going back and forth on that because well, that, I that's think, stupid. Then you just never take initiative. In that late game scenario, if you have the initiative, see. But here's the thing, though. He said there's still there's still going back. There's still no official ruling on it, which I think is very interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Well, a, like, but I'm saying, like, Josh, so. like if you if you don't do initiative wins, then then whoever takes initiative loses, which is just yeah. stupid. Like in that, that situation, yeah. Yes. So gotta, I'd be okay with that. You see, here's here. because look. This would be the one benefit on the one off chance scenario. You guys both run out of cards where having the initiative would actually not be beneficial, okay? Because every other scenario, initiative is pretty much beneficial, you know. But oh, this, so like, oh, this would be you, yeah. one time. So whoever has initiative, you can uh, just pass uh, that you round. Have to pass, yeah. Because likely, yeah, you both, you both pass, and then that whoever had it would would lose automatically. Because I would assume likely up until yeah. this point. Because at least with the games that I've played, a lot of the times, like you start with initiative, you usually have it towards the end of the game, typically, just yeah. because mm-hmm. you're doing stuff faster. You get basically an extra turn to do your stuff. So this scenario might yeah. be the one time, eh, you know, I'd be okay with that. You know, but granted, it's probably what, yeah, one in every hundred games or so. If that, if that, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah, mill it's fair. It. Unless they introduce a lot more mill cards, I don't see that being a thing because you can please no as many cards in the in the deck as you want. So I, I think if it ever becomes a thing, yeah, just and, uh, taking 70 and 80 cards in their deck and say, now, oh, well, oh, the one thing, I, yeah, check, check this is one thing I wish you would have asked them if they were going to do anything about yeah. not getting the initiative first, you know, like some kind of benefit for the other player, you know. Yeah, I remember when I put in our in our group chat, hey, do you want me to ask them any questions? Yeah, I forgot to ask that. That would have been a one. great time yeah, to say, hey, chick, ask that. That would have been a great time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and did you ask them my question? 
if they're going to kill the game ASAP like <laughs> they did last time, if you're going to let Jeremy. You, you know, said, no, like you said, when I go up to ask on. Jeremy for an autograph on my card, you said to say, hey, Jeremy, why did you kill Destiny? Are you going to kill this game? I, I do. That's exactly I, what I said. Are you going to kill Destiny? Are you going to kill this game just like you did Destiny? Or, or no, I think yeah. I think my actual comment was, <laughs> why did you kill Destiny? Is it because you wanted to l l launch this game instead because you hated Destiny? I think that I can't it. do that. <laughs> I can't. Come on. Come on. Well, okay, so then Look, I'll ask in the podcast. The, I hey, Jeremy, was nice. I think you'll hey, probably hey, not hey, do this. Hey, hey, you can make me cut this part out. Oh, hey, but, but, hey, hey, Jeremy, hey, 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 why did you kill go, Destiny? Go, go, was it so you could launch this trash game instead? Go, go, I'm just Say it. Stop. 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 You make me cut this section out, man. This ain't this ain't oh, this ain't Destiny, guys. This is still it's a cool game, maybe, but there ain't no right there. There's no there's no dice rolling. It is not Destiny, guys. Destiny is still. I pain. agree. I agree. I I think Destiny is a more fun game. I mean, before Jeremy, as of right now, uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> awakening. I have a question. No, I'm no, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna play I'm gonna, advocate. I'm gonna, I was going to say, say uh, the acronym no, uh, let me go. before Jeremy, no, but that's probably no. not a good thing to say. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me play FFG Advocate. FFG was real nice to me. They did a great job on their demo, so I'm going to play FFG Advocate, right? Something I'm, I've never really done. But well, let me ask you this. Do you know when, do you factually know when Jeremy took over Destiny and became the lead designer over Lucas? In other words, do you know which cards are... "Quote unquote," Jeremy's fault. Wasn't it? Uh, uh... You have no idea. No, it was. Uh, it was the. There. It was legacies, wasn't it? Do you know that? Do you know that was all Jeremy? Do Do you know? Maybe. It, uh, do you know? Was Was it the set after legacies? It was. I. It was either the fourth. Way the or it, was the, it was. Yeah. Way the. It was either legacies. Or well, way I. The I can tell you for sure. Kylo Spark was hope, Jeremy's yes. baby. He hatched. He hatched that crap. I tell you oh, that Kylo sure. too. Droids, he hatched oh. that crap. Okay, that was Jeremy. Look, I agree. Look, I agree. You know, you know, Coach. Here's so, the thing. Okay. So maybe I don't need to know exactly. Kylo too was horrible did, for the. But game. I can tell you the I worst, agree. the worst sets that came out, the worst characters that came out, the you crappiest you cards that came FN? out. Do you remember those FN are all Jeremy's. Do you remember FN? Hey, 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 hey. That card was so broken. There's no way you're getting. I don't think about it. You remember Paul Maz? That's right. I don't think you remember. You see, Thomas wasn't that great. Do you remember FN though? Yeah, FN. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, 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 FN. Come on. FN was really good, but they, you know, like they nerfed it. I, I think they nerfed it too hard, of course. But uh, yeah, but, like well, no. I mean, you're just, no, 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 no. You're just gonna have a bad card here. FN changed the fundamental rule of the game. He changed the override. Yeah, but the difference, the difference is with FN. They released it not realizing how how powerful it was gonna be. They didn't design it just to crush the game. I don't but know. Jeremy literally designed Kylo as Hello a deck. To, like he built to a destroy deck mono decks. Garbage. Yeah, he destroyed and mono he decks. literally designed droids. Like that was obvious. The droids was like, this is what's going to be the, the meta. It, like, yeah. Okay. I mean, you, he literally, he literally made a, a, a plot. Well, let me finish. He made a plot to go plot. with C3P and R2D2 yeah. and another yeah. droid, obviously. Yeah. So come on, like you can't look, defend look, that. That you knew that was so broken. Like I'm not like, defending. Like, I'm not defending. Like, defending. Like, I mean, you can turn a die, you know, and, and you get to 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 Plus take two it. resources or do look, two extra damage I, or whatever. I'm I mean, not defending and they don't even get a turn. Look, you know, like come on, that's just stupid. Like, I, I, that was look, so obviously broken. Look, I'm not defending. I'm not defending droids at all. All I'm saying is that before Jeremy, when Lucas was the designer and they created FN, FN was so broken that FN changed a fundamental rule of the game. Okay? That's all I'm saying. You know? So, I mean, when we talk, you know... Yeah, but, like, but like, it wasn't we talk, broken like... It was super yeah, but it wasn't, broken. It wasn't broken like droids where they just let it Honestly, go. Honestly, though, I don't know and they then let it go. They kind of the override and, like, rule. Destroy, like, a million different mm. friggin' regionals and stuff. Come on, guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Look, I guess saying, the, the only thing is, is like FN was FN, FN, ahead, FN, ahead, FN never won a world championship. Did he not? Since they're, dude. Yeah, because it was he right. did because they nerfed him before. Nerfed him he won before. exactly. He won every regional just, though. He won because he won know, every FN, regional. FN, I know, but, but and yeah, but they let they let droids go all the way to the I mean, world championship. Got, yeah, this is true. Uh, they did nerf it prior to the world championship, and I would argue yeah. 
that the general grievous George player should have won, but he made a bunch of misplays. Yeah, anyway, we we got to move on off that. We got to move on off that Ben topic. Uh, what, uh, what, what we got next? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, I agree. You want to um, uh, some of these new cards? Do we? I don't know. You want to new talk about yeah, 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 yeah. Newer cards. Uh, I don't know. Do you got more stuff from the uh, the event that you want to talk about? Um. Oh, do I? That's a good question. Um. Uh. Uh. uh I don't think so. Um. I think that's it. If I think of something else, I'll, I'll bring it up later. But well, you did. Uh, you did was... definitely say that the actual live gameplay is better than the online. Oh, that was it. Yes. I so playing on TTS. It, you know, it's TTS, right? But playing like with the cards, like in your hands, like, because that's the thing. Like my first. I think all of all three of our first experience with like Destiny was playing real cards and dice, right? And we went to TTS later with Galaxy Shuffle here. Our first experience was on the computer on TTS, and not you guys still haven't even held the cards in your hands, right? I, I, I it's it's a whole different thing. And I, I'm gonna be honest, like the whole space arena and like the two lane system, Mr. it Jack. kind of grew on me playing playing the demos, no. like. It kind of grew a little bit. I still don't like the fact that stormtroopers do more damage than than tie fighters, but yeah. I did enjoy the two lane system more than I guess ever have playing the demos in person. So uh, yeah, that's it for packs and play. Uh, we 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 can move on. Did they did they yeah. talk price there point for this game at all yet? Yeah, they've already given price point. Uh, packs are packs up. Each pack is four ninety nine as opposed to twelve. Oh, I'm gonna to touch on this real quick. Not that anybody cares because the Galaxy Shuffle podcast. But holy crap, they had a whole line for Lorcana product yeah. wrapped around this, I that, see. the other. Ra- it was like, oh, dude, crazy. Oh my god, just for the, just for the that product, was right? crazy. Just mm-hmm. for product, I assume it was that MSRP. It might have been bumped up. I, I assume it was that MSRP. I, I don't know. I wasn't waiting in line to, to see it. But man, I, I I like I never want to touch that game again just because of the lines that. and the craziness, man. Yeah, it's dude, it's a cash grab. It's simply that. Like just, there was a, like when we when we when I entered Hall C, right? There was a sign that said Lorcana Line Product Q or something like that, uh, and then everybody else, you know, point of one way and point of one the other. It's like, what the heck, man? Like, holy crap, it was crazy. I know. So, so like uh so a pack's gonna be four ninety nine. How many cards in a pack? Six uh there's a pack breakdown. There's you get there's a there's an article on it on their website. Uh you get so you get you get sixteen cards in a pack, one base, uh one leader, and then I wanna say it's nine on un- nine commons, three uncommons, one rare, one rare slash legendary, and then one foil. Thank God. Well, yeah, nine three. One one two. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, something know. like that. So, so like compared to Lorcana's twelve, I want to say you get four extra cards for two dollars less at MSRP. Here's, here's pack breakdown for you, coach. In each booster pack, nine common, three uncommon, one rare legendary card, and then a base and a leader. I think. Or yeah. no, and then yeah, this is like six articles ago. There's a foil. There's a foil. So sixteen cards. Yeah, the foil. Oh, okay, yeah, and and uh, and I think it's it's listed right on the bottom, right? There, uh, there are for yep. rare. Is it super rare? Is it yep. super rare? I suppose. No, there's no. Um, that's started. There's just common, uncommon, rare, legendary. That's a start. Oh, so it's oh, basically okay. the same breakdown as uh, Destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uncommon, yeah. legendary. Yeah, oh, great. I kind of oh, wish the cool. icon for the rarity was a little bigger, though. Yeah. Like, cool. yeah. And like in in yeah. more of the yeah. corner. Yeah, you would think it would be a little like bit. I like Destiny. It was right there. I love Destiny's layout. Of, it was right there. It was color coded. It was in the corner, and it had a set symbol too. But well, it, it instead of just like, SOR, but it's it fine. It doesn't seem like either. Do. Like there's any kind of designation as a card. Like the card itself. I mean, obviously foil cards would be foil, but like the outside the border and like that doesn't seem to designate the fact of its rarity. Uh, no. But what they do. Well, if you'll notice, like on the cards, so like a bit, like if you go to the uh, look at the cards, right? Um, 
like a vigilance card will have like blue symbols around it and like a, a blue heroism card will have different symbols so kind of like on the border it kind of adds some nice art detail which is cool yeah um but then there's there's like also like the hyperspace cards which i think are actually pretty cool i don't know if yeah. you've seen those coach but hyperspace cards are pretty cool and there's the showcase which uh i'm gonna i'm, I'm I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pack the showcase. Yeah, I will not purchase shot, the showcase. Shot your package. But I will. A one in tw one in twelve boxes. I think it's <laughs> yeah. twenty four packs per box. I some. I think want to say. What's that? One in two hundred eighty eight packs. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. You never know. Yeah. Packing the showcase. There's no way. It's one in two hundred eighty eight. Yeah, two hundred eighty-eight packs for one showcase. It's what? It's mm. what? Almost probably what? Fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Point. Least. Uh. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. I mean, but just well, just you know, go go to your go to your friendly local guy. I did that in Flesh and Blood with the Fable cards, which are maybe not as rare. No. One in twelve boxes, something like that. I did I did that. Got a nice Corsham uh, crossroad thingy. Sold it for like two hundred fifty dollars. So it is possible to pick up one pack from your FLGS, pack, pop it open, and get the showcase card. There's always a chance. A slim one. Yeah, you never know. Like it's, uh, it does happen. It does happen. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. So moving on from oh, the, the, the pack oh, breakdown. Cards. Hyperscape oh. cards almost look like, uh, yeah, uh, like uh, what were they called? The ones, the uh, C three cards that you got at the. Um, the events for destiny see the promos spot, glosses. spot glosses. glosses yeah they do yeah i wonder if they're actually gonna be spot glosses. it'd be cool if they were uh no i probably not i since there's two and three packs there's no it's not gonna happen it'd be cool if it was maybe it's a really cheap spot yeah uh, anyway all right let's talk uh, maybe let's talk maybe, maybe let's talk cards all right all right cards what what card, what cards do you want to go do? I think we talk about old the new one of the newest, I guess, Luke Skywalker spoiler. Oh yeah, this card's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, he's a six seven vigilance heroism unit that cost uh he costs seven, so he comes out on seven resources, right? He's got restore three and a win plate effect that gives an enemy unit minus three, minus three for the phase. But if a friendly unit was defeated this phase, you give that enemy unit minus six, minus six for the phase. Yeah. I think he's pretty good. I think he's also super thematic because like that when played effect, um, it gets better if a friendly unit's defeated, obviously, which is super thematic with Luke in Return of the Jedi because everything he did was like for his friends and stuff, right? So I think it's also super thematic and uh, a strong Luke Skywalker card. Uh, he's a Force Jedi Rebel too, so yeah, I, I, I think it's other... a pretty good card. I'm not gonna lie, FFG, he did a good job. I think the art specifically on this card actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I mm -hmm. I, I, I agree did, too. I think they did the art pretty good. It's kind of got that smoking going, the smoky effect. Yeah, it actually kind of looks like Luke. You know, yeah. this is like one of the first cards mm -hmm. where the face actually looks really good. You know, yeah, I do like the the leader look. It's pretty solid. Too. I'll give oh, you yeah, that. Luke, I, I'll say the Luke's in this game. Both Luke's, both Luke Skywalkers are awesome. Like, I did do Luke Skywalker, and uh, which is good. I also think he's just gonna be really yeah. good against. I, I think, I think personally, he's gonna be really good against Han Solo. Just you know, give Han Solo the hero Han or the unit Han Solo minus six minus six leader Han, Han or the unit. Yeah, unit or leader. Yeah, he totally counters that Han. Well, he's got a really good wooden plate effect, so. Yeah, or even, uh, or even you know, the Chewbacca. That's, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Coach, you got any thoughts on this? Any thoughts on this, Luke? Uh, yeah, it's a good card. It's a good card. One all I don't like about the Luke. Um, no, I don't think this really matters. Maybe it might. I don't know. But I want a leader, Luke Skywalker, from Return of the Jedi, and you know the black outfit and the green lightsaber. I hope that because they made a unit one. That that doesn't mean they're not going to make a leader one. See yeah, be cool they did. yeah, yeah. That'd be cool if they made a leader. Uh, I, I hope they give a leader for at least all three of the 
the different movies, you know, for Spark of Hope. Yeah. And do uh, Empire Strikes Back and then Return of the Jedi, the okay. leader card. You say, you say Spark of Hope? Isn't it A New Hope? A New Hope, yeah. Spark of Hope. There, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, the Restore 3 on this card, I think. You still is, think about uh, Jeremy's Jeremy's work on Destiny, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, I, I can't get I can't That's get always on your mind, isn't it? It's yeah. always yeah, on yeah. his mind. It's Jeremy. And so, like, uh, like, yeah, the two, I think the uh, this unit. Oh, wait, just, uh, wait, wait, wait. Does Jeremy is, live rent free in your head? <laughs> he absolutely does. Um, some days, yes. Um, every time they come out with a new crap <laughs> card, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't really care for the no, art. I, I don't think the art looks that much like Luke. It's what? a little like it's nah, like, not close. like the, the leader unit. The, the leader Luke Skywalker looks like Luke Skywalker. This new Luke Skywalker. Eh. I agree. I got the cards right here. It's okay. Not great. It's I mean, I the face is a little weird. The hey, I mean, uh, for, oh, come, I guess relatively speaking, it's way better. It, it, yeah. I'm telling you, you take it, you take just the head and put it next to a picture of Mark Hamill and say, Hey, is this Mark Hamill? People would be like, No, I don't know, man. The only reason why it looks like Luke is because he's got mm. one hand and he's holding a green lightsaber in a black outfit. But other than that, yeah. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. I just, I don't know, man. It's not great. I mean, when, but, but, but look at, look at the leader Luke Skywalker and this card side by side. And if you're just looking at that card, you're like, oh, That's not bad. But then you put those two cards by, side by side, yeah. and you're like, yeah, it's pretty crap. Oh, man, the smoke in the background, the color of the red lighting. Yeah, the red lighting is really good, the way they did that, and how it fades down to a yellow kind of way. I'm not saying the background is it, but I'm just saying, like, they keep butchering the faces yeah. of these characters. I'm oh, like, I, don't even think I will say, man. Bad, I, mean, I mean, it's not, it's not Han the, Solo the, the, crap, but, you know. Like, if you look at yeah. the picture from Luke, Return of the Jedi, when he's, when he's fighting Vader. Or, yeah, right here. Yeah, his hair is kind of messed up when he's fighting. Yeah. It is a little, like, you know, not as combed or whatever. Uh, yeah, it looks like a yeah. mid-battle Luke Skywalker kind of way, you know? Like, if you just take this uh, picture of this still frame right here, it looks pretty uh, close. Uh, uh, it's it's pretty uh, close, man. Uh, when he's fighting Vader. Uh, yeah. There's a still uh, shot from the movie, and it's pretty close. I don't think so. Yeah. Know. Well, overall, the art's good, especially I don't know what you call it, but like the shadow effect of the green lightsaber on his on his uh, his uh, outfit there. I, I I think they did pretty good on like the on I don't know what you call it. I, I didn't paint it minis in one. I should say yeah yeah yeah. It's actually hard to do on, on minis and stuff, but yeah yeah. I'm sorry, it just doesn't look like like it like there's just parts of his face like he looks like a little too kiddish in this one. Like this is Luke's. This looks like yeah, I, I could like agree. Trying a to make bit. the. It looks like they're trying to make the 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 uh, the Luke Skywalker from A New Hope when he's like you know, you know, still on on his aunt, you know, Baruch and uh, uh, Uncle Ben's farm still. You know. Yeah, that, he does look a little young. He looks way too young in this one, uh, and, and I don't know. It's just like his his mouth isn't quite right. I don't know. There's stuff that's just not quite right about. Him. Now, granted, it's way better than a lot of the other cards they've come out with because some of those cards are just horrible. I mean, really yeah. horrible. Like, just straight hot garbage. But, you know. Anyway, <laughs> moving on from Lou. They, I mean, at least they get, at least he's a good card mechanically. So there's that. Do yeah. you want to? I know, I know, uh, I know old Crank and Chewie's got some strong thoughts on the old Jedi lightsaber they released. Yeah, bro, how broken it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. They find the, although at least it's only a rare okay at least it's not a legendary because if it was a legendary that would kind of suck because this day is to be so broken so it's three cost all right plus three plus three broken and you want to know why this trash is broken you know it's a plus three plus three okay now if you go look at like the fallen lightsaber fallen lightsaber is not bad you know comparatively but like luke and vader's same plus three plus three right yeah it's the same plus three plus three little worse ability though in my opinion but, like, Luke's lightsaber is a plus three, plus one. Vader's, I think, is the same. And those are two costs. Now, granted, they, mm -hmm. have, they have they have abilities for specifically Vader and Luke, okay? But this trash right here, okay? Three, plus three, plus three. Attached to a non-vehicle unit, okay? Good job, FFG, on doing that, you know? If attached unit is a force unit, it gains on attack. Give the defender minus two, minus two. Oh, that reminds me. That is some hot garbage. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I have one more thing about packs to say after this card. 
Yeah, so I, I, I think I, this is just a really good card. I mean, this is going to be so broken. I mean, in my opinion. You throw that, like, here you go. Here, here, here's your play. Here's your play, okay? Round three, you play Yoda, all right? Round four, you play a Jedi lightsaber on Yoda. There you go. Boom. Yoda is now a 5-7 uh, with restore two and gives minus two to anybody or whoever he attacks. It's broken. In my opinion. Uh, I think it's pretty strong. The only thing is... Um, it's an upgrade, which has its benefits and its downfalls. So, like, you could play this upgrade and then boom, they 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 waylay they waylay your unit. Yeah. yeah which they if they wait, oh, that's a good question. If they waylay a unit with an upgrade, does the upgrade go to your uh, discard pile or does the upgrade go back to your hand? Yeah, I think it goes. Oh, wait, that's a good question. I think it goes discard, doesn't it? I, I think so because you return the unit. Does waylay say all the upgrades? Oh, now has... now I'm kind of. I would assume that it would go back to your hand too, but I have no idea. Um, let me see if I can find Waylay. Return. Yeah, so I assume the upgrade just get. I don't know. Um, and why did you ask him at PAX, man? Come on, what are you doing? Because so I just thought of this now. Oh, there's another card that. Uh, Returns all upgrades. What's that one called? Uh, it's yeah, available. but that, none of the upgrade, upgrades uh, have redeploy that I know of, right? Have they released any with redeploy? Redeploy. Redeploy's in the game. A redeploy yeah. up. Uh, and in this game, that'd then, be pretty good. So then, like, basically, all the upgrades they just go away. I just assume they go. I I I would assume it doesn't go to your hand. It goes to your discard pile. I, mean, I, I would assume so too. This question's probably since been answered somewhere. Since it doesn't, since it doesn't say it, since it says a non-leader unit goes to your hand, it should probably go to your hand, right? I mean, if you're waylaid, I would think. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, it's like basically you're taking that unit into your hand. Yeah, and so all the, stuff uh, the ba ba bamboozle, bamboozle, bamboozle says you, uh, oh, never mind. That's different. That's exhaust. Never mind. Continue. Seems like there's a lot of these rules that they're still pretty iffy on. Like they haven't really clarified a lot of stuff, and and there's a lot of cards that, because of the interactions of them, yeah, of like they, they the, it so seems like they like either overcomplicate stuff or they under explain stuff. And, and there's so many cards like that. It feels like that's it. Yeah, Coach, that we still got like how many uh, more months until the game's released? I mean, yeah, we don't I mean, only have well, we don't have the rule book out. There's no rule book. Yeah, we don't have the rule book no out either. Rule so like, either, so it's because they don't even have the rule book written yet. They don't even know all the rules yet. Just trying to figure this out. This is true. This is trying to figure out what happens when you thing. mill out. You know. Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, like, yeah. You think they would have wrote the rules? I mean, you know, at this point, but I mean, I'm sure they got something written down. But it seems pretty crazy that. Yeah. They, uh, that they don't have all the rules. Yeah, I agree. I was, I was, I was kind of a little shocked when I heard that. I was like, and they're having a debate about. Well, what, at the same time. Well, no, I will say this. At the same time. One reason why they are probably doing the demos, and I don't think the mill rule applies to this, which still makes me kind of confused about the mill and shit rule, is like they want to like talk to players and ask the players like, okay, what what feels better as like a player? Like, what does the general public think? That's like one positive thing about the demo is now you can get feedback from your your target audience on what they think is best for the game. So I think which I don't think they need to have the game fully defined right now. Like honestly, if there weren't so many not heads in the community that love the current unique uniqueness rule, if everyone was like, "Hey," if like everybody there was like a consensus majority of, "Hey, let's have the uniqueness rule the same as it was in Star Wars Destiny," I think there's a possibility they could change that. But there's too many people who will just like the uniqueness rule the way it is because that's the way it is, and you know. But that's that's a that's a different conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think there's just yeah, too many things that they're trying so hard to not be destiny, and because of that, they're just causing more problems. Oh, creating that. Pressure. This is a great segue. Here's something that's not destiny that I think is great. It's the worst part about destiny, one of the worst parts. I was talking with Josh about the starter decks, and uh, I asked him, I was like, so was it like, <clears throat> was it like, like decision to like put a full play set in the starter deck. So you buy one starter deck, you get three of every card, right? So you don't have to go buy two starter decks. And he said that it was a pretty consensus decision to um, have the starter decks have all three of the cards. Uh, there's only a few people they had to do some convincing of. 
Uh, so well, it's good to know that hey, it, this. Who are those three people that they had to convince? Wait a minute, I want to know. See, I'm three. guessing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing it's people who think that it's great to make everyone buy two of each, so you get more <laughs> money. I guess, but it's, but like, there's like there's like an equilibrium that has to be met of like how much can we pull from our consumer. And how much can we take from our consumer? Making right. your oh, consumer buy that. two starter decks to it's play the game is stupid, like they did, so like they did in Star Wars Destiny. Yeah, so, so like, hot garbage. like wherever the equilibrium is, I promise that the starter deck giving giving three cards, giving an extra co copy of Grand Moff Tarkin or Princess Leia, whoever's in the deck, giving them one extra copy. I think that's beneficial instead of like having your like like you should imagine you should, like it, that was horrible destiny. You oh, pop so the box. Miserable. Oh, let's play. Let's play. Oh, you gotta buy another one to play. I gotta buy another one. I so I bought half a starter deck when the thing said starter deck, you know. So I, yeah, I, but, I, I, I mean, that was, I was great to hear from deck Josh. Was so. to be like a, it wasn't ever supposed to be a full deck in Destiny. It was supposed to be just something you just, you could actually pop the boxes and play. No, but we're talking about the dice. No, you would open oh, Kylo Ren yeah. and Ray. They would come with one die. Mm -hmm. you only so you well, can only play them on their one die version. I know, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You, you'd have to play the one die version. It, was, it wasn't supposed to be a full deck. It never was. Oh, it was yeah. a starter deck, yeah, right? So, so, so facto, you're only going to get one die. That means you're only going to be able to play you know, like, like a starter deck. You're not going to be able to play it at its full power. Yeah, that's which, the thing. Which, in, which, which I think, which, so, which, listen, don't, no, no, don't no, no, wrong. I disagree. Explain. They should have put two dice in there. I, I, I agree with that. But my point being, yeah, you know. Let me explain. I'll explain. So what they're doing, so for example, um, Grand, Grand Moff Tarkin, the, the unit, not the leader, the unit, there's cards like him and some other cards. Uh, they're only available in the starter deck, which is an interesting right. choice, right? Which, but I think that's fine, you know, get people to buy the starter decks and you know, right. sell your product, I guess. I, don't, I think that's fair. And so, and they put three of Tarkin. So you buy one starter deck, okay, then you have three Tarkins that you can play with you know you have all three of your tarkins right right whereas whereas what they could have did was say oh we'll put two tarkins in there like right. they did with destiny because because you can never play like let's be honest you never played like one die kylo unless it was like a kylo uh who was the um unless you just want to play i don't know but you, you really never played one die kylo or one die phasma one die ray or one die po you pretty much always play them two die for the most part right yeah. They could have just you just got to slip an extra die in there, right? Yeah. So like you know, it's good to see that they're putting three in, three of yeah. the cards in the starter decks, and it was you know, like, well, I think you, unanimously. If you really yeah. want to talk about it, let's talk about the two player starter set that they released for Destiny. That was some hot garbage. Are you kidding me? Oh my. Yeah, God. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, see, that, that's what I was I was referencing. Oh, oh yeah. Well, even even just the original starter sets too. Like when you only get one die, yeah. one die. That's so cur That's so trash. Like why why would you do that? We get two. You got two. You got two ray dice. One yeah, fin die. One fin die and one phasma. Or was it phasma? Or no, was it stormtrooper? Uh, no, it was Ky it was Kylo and the stormtrooper, which only one stormtrooper die. But the fin die was the problem. But that that was a a, a continual issue because like like in the Luke starter set yeah. and the Boba starter set, you got one Han. Whatever it was. You got one Han. So yeah. Um, it's so stupid. Yeah, uh, you got one Han Solo die in the Luke starter set, and uh, I guess with Boba it was the veteran stormtrooper, so you only need one of those. But yeah, it was a continual issue that they never I mean, fixed, one. and it was yeah the grievous one, whatever, whatever it was. Yeah, so it's good that. to hear that at, you know whoever whoever the issue was, either they left the company or they changed their mind, or majority just rolled them over and said, hey. Let's give our consumers a uh, product. Let's not they can break them for two win. starter sets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But the worst They're like, hey, Karen, stop being an idiot. We're going to give them three cards. <laughs> yeah, we're giving them three We're going to give them all the cards to play. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to actually give them a starter set. Because it was so stupid. Yeah. It's, like, we're gonna... it's like if I wanted, like, theoretically, okay, let's say you're a brand new player to the game, okay? You buy, you buy, let's say you buy just two starter sets. You buy a Ray and you buy a Kylo one. Or you buy the two player starter set. And let's say, you know, you, you've We're got... talking like, Galaxy Shuffle or Destiny? Destiny, Destiny now. Destiny, Destiny, Destiny. Gotcha. You buy, yeah. you buy the Ray and the Kylo starter set, or you buy the two-player starter set from, from Destiny, okay? And you take it home, and, you know, let's say you want to play with one of your friends, or, you know, you want to play with your kid or whatever. And you're like, oh, well, we can't even really play because it only comes with half the cards I need. 
I you have exactly. the dice that I need. Oh, it only comes with yeah. one copy of it. Oh, oh, well, I guess we're not playing. And then it's just—it's just such a feel. That was such a feel bad moment. Oh, yeah, God. and then everyone has to get two of it. You know, everyone's got to get yeah. two of the boxes. You know, and and it just like, kind of—it just kind of really pisses off your consumer. And it's like, okay, well, this sucks. Yeah, yeah. So now, well, so, so good then, job, you know? good job, FFG. Good job, FFG. Guys, guys, <laughs> We, we we appreciate this. Yeah, I, I I do appreciate that. I think the only downside, the only thing I, I you know I don't like is the three cards. I I hate the fact that I got to get three legendaries. <clears throat> you know, th three rares, three. Could be four. Know. Could be four, like Disney. Well, Wakanda. yeah, it could be Larkana four, but still, like, if if the price points go anywhere anywhere near like they did Destiny, which they probably will, or maybe more. Who I knows? Don't, I mean, I don't the, think maybe. Uh... Mm, mm, anyway, I don't think they. Do. I mean, so like the 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 high cost uh -huh. cards were like uh, upwards around eighty bucks. That's times three now. Yeah. So now I, you're well, talking, here's the thing. Now you're talking two hundred forty dollars for three cards for a for a deck of fifty plus cards. Yeah, but okay. Here's the difference. I mean, is in, you, wait, wait, and you but, need but, a sideboard. Wait, wait, we should talk about wait, sideboards. Wait, 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 wait. And you got sideboard cards. And let's say 10. you have at least. Let's say you have at least. You know. Uh, I'd say minimal, right? In your deck, you're probably gonna have at least four legendaries. I'd say, I think it's fair, right? Yeah. You know, so uh, probably four legendaries. Two, two you're talking maybe. a thousand dollar deck. Probably. Now you're at a thousand dollar deck. Where? Even if no, even if they're cheap, leg even if they're cheap leg legendaries, you're probably at five hundred. Well, not, not every legend, not every legendary is gonna be sixty dollars. Like there's some legendaries oh, that are like, you know. mm, yeah, well, but the good ones are gonna be. even go like the black one. The black one, you can go, dude. I'll, I'll let me say this. Look, you, I, I mean, bet you it, could go down to your it, local dumpster and get three black ones. <laughs> you can find those easy. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're going to put three black ones in your deck. Trash. <laughs> but when you get some other cool. legendaries, and the problem is, it's going to be like, you know, heavy. Uh, There's like, one like, legendary like, pack. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. It's going to be like Flesh and Blood, me. though. Wait, hold on. It's going to be like fresh, Flesh and Blood, where some of the rares or, you know, the uh, uh, the rares that are hard to come by, you know, they're just not, they don't have a lot in the back. You know they're going to be expensive yeah. because they're really, really good rares. You know, so that, that it, yeah. so now, now that rare isn't going to be, uh, it's not going to be a two dollar card, a three dollar card. It's a twenty dollar card or thirty dollar card. Well, still a thirty dollar rare, and you got you know how many rares are you going to play in your deck? And if it's at thirty bucks times yeah. three, that's ninety dollars. That's a hundred dollar bill look, just look, for the rares. I don't know where you're getting this math from, but I just feel like yeah, it's I, definitely I, it's definitely a little bit off here, coach. I ain't gonna lie. Because a Dude, legendary, a legendary. Okay, look, a legendary is. One have, you, have you not played any card games in the, in the last, you know, five years? No, you haven't. That's a problem. Uh, what uh, what do you mean? Flesh and, flesh and blood had had your your legendary flesh and the cards, most, and most then they had blood. your uh, flesh and blood is different. Flesh, flesh and blood is totally is different ball game. It's not that different it though. Is, though. I think flesh somewhat blood. unplayable. At, a few months wait, ago. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. Look at look at uh, what was the uh, uh, Magic the Gathering. You know, uh, competitive decks were over what two, three thousand dollars for a competitive deck. Flesh and blood yeah. decks. So now, I don't play magic. Flesh and blood decks are if you're going to be competitive nowadays, they're close to a thousand dollars for a flesh and blood deck. Yeah. Lorcana is a, probably going to be ago. over. A, listen, Lorcana is listen. going to be over a thousand dollars. Yeah, these are games so I'm like, never going to play. I, well, no, but I'm just saying, you look at the card games and the prices of cards. Lorcana's not going to be over and a the popularity. Lorcana's not even that expensive. I mean, it's expensive, it, it, but it's not like. Dude. Flush and blood. Dude. Dude. Okay, look, Lorcana's only expensive because Dude. A, there's not very much product, and B, people want all of the, the alternate arts and crap. If Dude. you go to the alternate arts, I guarantee, like, I guarantee you, you no, wait, no, no, I no. guarantee you, wait six months, wait six months, Dude, and then no. look at what a, what a deck, I could, the, the most competitive decks are in six months to a year, and you'll be spending upwards of $1,000 for a Lorcana deck. Hey, I guarantee you. Let me, let me a question. Here, here you go. I have a question. Love how much is the most expensive tailor. legendary in Lorcan? The Brave Little Taylor on TCG Player, okay? A leg a legendary card is going for eight dollars. Eight dollars on TCG Player. Elsa's Elsa. I, I I haven't Elsa's yeah, what's seventeen the most expensive dollars. Card? Seventeen dollars for Elsa. Um, it's because Lorcan. Lorcan I don't know who's complete, huh? I don't know who the best I would say Elsa. I don't know who the best legendary. Uh that's from set one. I have no idea. I, oh, I, I no can't tell you. Um but like set, set two, one, yeah. Set one else is seventeen bucks on on TCG players. So right. they, how many? You what do you need? Right now, four or five of those cards you need. You what? need four. So you only need four. 
Oh, but four, I mean, yeah. but I mean, like if you, if you go well, out actually, to also you're probably only playing like three else on your deck yeah, anyway. You're not playing. You're probably playing two. No way you're playing four else. So yeah. like, if you go, if you go to eBay, okay, let's let's go to eBay. All right, four bucks. There you go. Twelve ninety. Oh, I know it. Here's the. Okay. Ooh, that's not even a fair price. You know it. Uh, uh, eBay. I'll give you whatever. It's yeah. So yeah, yeah it starts coach, at four bucks. Coach. Oh, buy it now. Listen to this. Listen. Listen to this. Coach, are you listening? Yeah. The most expensive base Lorcana card right now. Uh, we'll just do it from from set one. All right, set two is I I don't know the prices on it, I and no set two like just released. So so the prices are jacked because it's set two, and yeah, the most expensive one is Rapunzel, who's forty dollars. Right now that's expensive. I'll give you that, but this isn't this isn't no eighty dollar card, right? Forty. Yeah, and this is Lorcan. We're talking one hundred sixty dollars for one card. That's a hundred. I know. But the, I know exactly. I yeah, I agree, like that. and that's, that's Lorcan. I know that's yeah. my point. It, that's the most and, and popular even, game like in the world right now. Yeah, but my, my point is, you haven't even sh it hasn't even shaken out to see wh what the most the best decks are, the best cards are, because they've got the set two released already and set threes on the way. So it's it, it, again, I I think once they start no, and, having and, and, they, I, I and start, unlimited, wait, and it once they have one less set a year. Once they, once they actually start having uh, competitive events that are going to have prizes. You're gonna see those cards go skyrocket, I see, I and you and nobody knows uh, and, and nobody knows what those are gonna be yet. Yes, they will. They absolutely yeah, will. But no, because it happens in every because, single yeah. game. Every single uh, game where you find a really broken uh, card and everybody's playing it all of a sudden. That's just like that's just like a uh, stupid Command and Conquer. That was a nothing card in Flesh and Blood. Nobody really cared about it, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, everybody's playing it. Yeah, but it went from like ten dollars to twenty dollars to a hundred dollars. So don't yeah. tell me it doesn't. I'm telling you that's exactly what happens. The same thing happened in uh, in Star Wars Destiny. You know, uh, all of a sudden uh, people are playing Yodas. You know, the Yoda that's worth uh, you know nothing now. Uh, you know, it became an eighty dollar card. Yeah, but you see, here's the difference. It was never eighty dollars. It was never eighty dollars. It was like forty. Oh yeah, that was one of the most expensive cards. Like, the hey, the Yoda. The leaders. Uh, every leader's going to be like three. Every leader. Like it's not, they've said on their streams that every leader is going to be accessible to everybody, so you're not going to have to chase after Grand Admiral Thrawn. Or well, I know you're not. You're going to base at the other cards, all the legendary cards. I see. I don't think it's going to be that bad, though. I don't think it'll yeah, be think that. Bad. Really I don't think it will. I, don't, I, I think. I think your. I, I think your top of the line legendaries in 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 Galaxy Shuffle are going to be twenty to twenty five bucks. That's yeah. what I that, personally. Yeah. That's what I think nope. because if you absolutely nope. because oh, no no listen hear me out okay because your pack breakdown no structure absolutely there's no reason for them to be more because your pack breakdown structure okay it's one and eight for a legendary okay so you get eight yeah. packs you get eight packs you get one legendary okay that's forty bucks okay so now you take you got eight foils let's say let's say the foils are let's go you know like fifty cents a pop I don't know what they could be. But let's say 50 cents. So you take, you know, four bucks. Okay, so now we're down to $36. Then you got, you know, let's say seven rares. Let's say, I don't know, they're going to be what? 50 to 75 cents a pop. Let's take another four bucks off. Then you got all the commons and all the other crap and whatnot. So there's probably going to be uh, maybe 30 bucks for a legendary. But like, I don't think they're going to be that expensive. I, I think probably 25 bucks. I don't think so either. And here's the thing: if they you, are expensive, and, and simply because, simply because it's not Disney Lorcana. Disney Lorcana is so inflated right now; it's yeah. horrible. We can't. You can't. I agree. You can't compare. I don't think this game will be inflated like Lorcana. And the other thing, they just I think it really comes down to: if this game is like overpriced, out of people's budgets, out of like cash, people won't play it. Play the game will die. And if it. And if and if this game dies, FFG probably like dies too, honestly, because like F, everything FFG has is like invested like into this game. So if they can't get the product into people's hands, the game is probably gonna die or not at, at least not be that big. And yep. FFG like I'm no like business person, but like FFG kind of needs this game to succeed. Otherwise, their reputation is already kind of tarnished. It'll be like completely it. done if this game fails. Yeah, it'll be. Think about it'll it. be, it'll be if this game fails, they're they're done. You only get one one legendary per pack, right? One legendary in eight packs, yeah. Eight. Okay, yeah, in eight packs. And I guarantee, I'm telling you, one legendary in eight packs. Well, that doesn't that that doesn't include like four legendaries too. Yeah, so yeah, technically, and you there and, or, or hyperspace legendaries too. So, I think so technically, let's, let, let, let's technically let let's so let's guess. You get one. Legendary I don't think it's worth guess. It's not worth guessing. 
But I'm just saying, even if you get, it's even not. if you get, like, if it's one, if it's one legendary eight packs, holy crap, that's ridiculous. And let's say it's let's not. Say, though. Listen, it's listen. Not. They said it was like, you, like, can you can get double. You can get double legendary packs. Yeah, that's just it's, the it's minimum. Like, that's it's, like it's like one in what six point five or something like that that they said, or something like that. Yeah, something like that in that in that ballpark. It's it. We're just like, using, we're just I don't think that, 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 that. Yeah, I know. But let's say let's just go off the eight packs. One in eight packs, you're going to go legendary. So every eight packs you open, you only get one legendary. Every pack is five dollars, so basically you have to spend forty dollars to get one legendary. Coach, we just did this and, and and you, and, yeah, I know. I so that's my point. This. Forty dollars to get one legendary, and so times three. Yeah, but you're getting uh, all the other. Cards you know, that's that's one hundred and twenty bucks to get three legendaries. So and if you have, yeah. and if you have three legendaries in your deck, which you have at least Coach, probably three just, legendaries, that's three hundred and sixty dollars. This is horrible, Matt. That's it. Well, you just buy singles. I don't know. That I don't know cheaper, how you dude. think these are going to. I don't know how you think these because are going to be getting, expensive. Because, because look, you're getting sixteen cards in a pack. Okay, you're getting. Yeah. 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 Listen. Okay, you're getting yeah. sixteen cards in a pack. Yeah. Okay, you're going to get. Uh, let's say you buy eight packs. Yeah. All right. Two in every three of those packs. You're going to. So two in every three. Okay. So let's say you get six hyperspace cards. You're going to get eight foil cards. You're going to get one legendary. Okay. You could possibly get a hyperspace rare or legendary. I mean, it's not. And you can get you can get the showcase like me. Yeah. Okay, you're not gonna get a showcase. Mm -hmm. But like the pack. I can't wait to upload the showcase bad. to this channel. It's not. It's it's a good pack breakdown. I, I, I honestly think you're just you're not you're not. I'm telling you, the secondary market's gonna go pretty. All right, good. then we'll table this yeah. until yeah. the table game releases and, 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 and see every, what happens. Yeah, yeah well, we'll see. I, I but but mark my and words. We'll now. compare it to Lord. I'm Tom. just saying. Mark my words now. Legendaries in this game will be over fifty bucks. And you'll you'll so. be spending. I no. guarantee you'll be spending over five hundred dollars to put a deck together. I don't Boom. think so. I think that's I think I think I'm it'll be two to three. Because the game's gonna die if you have to. If the it, game dies. No problem. Nope. The problem is. No, nope, nope, because issue. most no, most no, no, people no, no, think no, no. of listen, buying a five hundred bucks to a game listen, is not that expensive. Listen, listen. The problem is, uh, if, if FFG, kids do. If FFG makes it to to where kids and their parents do. Yeah, exactly. If FFG makes it to where it's a five hundred dollar buy in for a competitive deck. I'll, I'll just go play Lorcana at that point, and I'll go. I'll go make money playing Lorcana exactly because I could legitimately. Yep. You can legitimately make money playing Lorcana with all the promos and all the all the stupid prize support that Lorcana has and all that trash. I'll just go play Lorcana at that point. Yeah. So if 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 uh -huh. if FFG is gonna make it five hundred dollar buy-in, they'll lose all their fan base. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. There's no way they no. will. No. It's gonna it's no. gonna be two, it's gonna be two maybe no. three hundred dollars for a very competitive deck. Guaranteed. No, nope. I mean, like they need to win fans. They need to win fans back. And like, if you can get word of mouth around that, like a deck is you know one to one fifty or whatever. If you can get that by word of mouth, that that's a great thing for their company. But if the word of mouth is it's expensive like every other game, then you know, then then they're gonna begin to not only lose fans but not win them back. Like I think they they really one, one need last thought. To. One last thought too. I I guarantee what's gonna happen is. Instead of one in eight packs being a legendary, one in eight packs is going to be a legendary black one, and one a one in like yeah, thirty true. packs is actually. I agree, going to be I agree there. I, I, think, I, think I can agree might, there. That might be true. That might be true. Because that's what happened in if Destiny, they, and I they guarantee they're going to do the exact same some, thing. Look, if they're they going to do the exact same thing. If they pull some we pulled trash so, like that, that I pulled sense. so many like like like. We never got one Darth Vader. We never legend, had an awakening. And Vader. never got one Darth Vader. Hey, but okay, Tyler, like, come on. Let's, uh, let's I'm count, just let's I'm just telling you when when right? you when you open that many packs and there's certain I mean there's guarantee I guarantee there is there are certain legendaries they just do not produce a lot of because they're really good and really broken and that's going to be the exact same thing here and those legendaries are going to be so uncommon that you're going to have to open so many stinking packs that that price point is going to be outrageous in the secondary market. Boom. I don't think outrageous, but definitely a little, yeah. but, but higher. Yeah, I don't think about it. this game can't be outrageously expensive for it. I disagree. Then, I disagree. Yeah. I think most people think five hundred bucks for a a uh, for a deck, a competitive deck. Now we're talking a competitive deck, not just an entry level well, deck or whatever. Let me ask you this. We're let talking me ask you this. the high the high level decks are going to be five hundred bucks plus. And I tell I you why, because I mean, because every other game, including Lorcana, is going to be close to a thousand. And so I'm I'm betting FFG is saying this. If we can make it at five hundred dollars with half of everybody else, then they'll play this game. So if you can't afford five hundred dollars for a competitive here's, deck, this game's not for you. I don't think it's well. Here's the thing: and they can't. They need. They need to win over as many people as they can. And here's the thing: Let, let's say you're a Lorcana player, right, or a Magic player, or whatever, and you hear about this unlimited game, and you have like interest in it because you know it's Star Wars, and you know. All right. Look. Currently, uh, you know, currently look, there if are you don't like some legendaries in the game, currently as it stands. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
So, and then if you hear about it, you, you, and you have interest and if your, your store owner tells you, yeah, it's like 150, $200 for a deck or something like that. You, you might, you might have interest and pick up a deck, but the minute you hear that, you know, oh, it's a thousand dollars or whatever, that person who might want to like pick it up as like a secondary game is going to be immediately disinterested. And also for people like, like you, like you coach, like when you first got us into, <laughs> into destiny, we were young kids, not like young teenagers, or whatever. We didn't have money. You bought us I mean, most of our packs, right? If if you knew that it was going to be like a thousand dollars to play the game, you would have never, you know, maybe not, but like probably wouldn't have had as much interest, right? And maybe never picked up the game or began to play, right? Like if that store owner told you when you were going to buy the, the 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 first starter set that hey man, this is a thousand dollar game, you you probably might not have bought the the starter deck, and we might have never played the game. But I don't think that that's the problem. I don't think people they're not gay, they're not promoting this game as a family game. This is not like, hey, you know, if you're an average income, yeah, they kind of are. Kid, Somewhat, yeah, they you kind and your of kid are. are I mean, gonna, you and your kid are going to play, play, be able to play this game. No, what they're I promoting this game, to Josh. No, yeah, that's not true. Yeah. I talked. No, no, that's not true. Listen, I talked to Josh, and he said that like he wants to get his kids in the game because, like he said, well, when I was talking to him about the starter decks, that's a reason he said. You know, I can buy this. Josh said this to me. He's like, I can buy a starter deck for me and buy a starter deck for my kids, store them in a binder for when they get older and then they can play. That's what he's so like, like Josh, like one of the, uh, he's not the designer, he's the, the OP director or whatever the official title is. He wants to get his kids to play the game too. So, you know, one of the guys at FFG, at least one of them is thinking about kids with this game and a younger audience, which is important, I think. Yeah, but it's it's a difference saying I go. Buy, be able to buy a starter deck and, and play with my kids awesome. as opposed to, you know, I mean that's you know that's the kind of well, it's gonna want to well, it's gonna want to get it into the game than more just the starter deck, like you know. Also, like, but my, my but my yeah. point is, all these card games are are geared toward the competitive gamer who's going to be buying cards for themselves and are going to keep buying and buying and buying into the because that's how you make money with these games. That's just the way yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I agree. agree. So, uh, and the no collectors way. This, too. There's nah, no way. Think, nah, the there's collectors no way this too. is a two hundred dollar uh, game. There's no way with three cards. No way. No I way. Just, no. I think. I, I think. Maybe I a little just, more. I mean, maybe it's not maybe dollars, the initial, not 500. the initial, the very first event or something like that. Maybe you're talking two or three hundred bucks. Look, you can but buy, after it really gets popular, after that that first event, the second event, guarantee it'll be a five hundred dollar game. You can buy an entire Spark of Rebellion booster box, okay, currently for ninety five dollars on pre order. Yeah. So yeah, but it's not, for yeah, but you're only going to get 24 booster card, 24 yeah. boosters, okay? Which is more than so three likely, legendaries. More than likely, nope. <laughs> so nope. three legendaries. That's what you're talking. So for a hundred bucks, you can buy a booster box which, and get three legendaries, which, and you'll hey, which, hey, and actually, you, they'll probably, actually, probably there'll be gonna probably be three black ones. Actually, it'll probably be four because you'll probably get some foil well, four black ones or something like that. Four black because, ones you won't even put in that deck. Actually, actually, in fact, I know it's going to be at least four because in their uh. Uh, their thing, a how is it, a foil in hyperspace? Yeah, here you go. In fact, it'll be four legendaries because a hyperspace rare slash legendary is one in fifteen packs, so it'll be minimum four, if not five. You could possibly get five legendaries in a hundred dollar box, minimum four. So there you go. On that basis alone, it is less than well twenty five dollars basically for a legendary at that point. Twenty five dollars for a, a Blackhawk legend or a Black One legendary that you won't ever put in your deck. That'll that just sit on the shelf and it's worth about two be, bucks. That might be true. However, there at least will be legendaries available. Yeah, yeah you'll get them. I think. Yeah, I you, think personally, yeah. I think I think the legendaries, the top of the line. I'm talking best ones in the game, probably twenty five to thirty bucks. I don't think. Look, oh. Okay, we just gotta my, wait and see. my last, my last, my last thought on this. Yeah, we got, we got really to wrap serious, this, this yeah, topic. If, in if the you're really serious about getting into this game and you really want to get into this game, this is what I suggest you do. You go out, you get your, you get your, uh, you get your starter set, right? You, everybody needs a starter set. I think that's a good investment. And then uh, after that, what you do is you, if you're going to build a deck, you find the deck you like and you just buy it on the secondary market. Don't, don't well, yeah. open boosters. Obviously. Don't open packs. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, however, yeah. However, on the, secondary, Thank you. on the secondary, wait, let me finish. On the secondary market, this oh. is what you're going to do. You're going to look for those, those cards that look like they could be semi-broken and are cheap legendaries. Like uh, something that isn't really uh, outrageous. Go buy your, go buy yourself three of those at $2 a piece. And then when they are maybe uh, six months down the road, they do something or they switch something around or whatever. 
and all of a sudden that one becomes legendary. Well, you paid six bucks for it. Uh, now, that, now it may be a, a ten dollar legendary card or a twenty dollar legendary card. People are this happened in this happens in every card game. Eventually, uh, some of those legendaries that weren't very good at the beginning, and they're like, well, you know, so once that secondary market comes out, take your two three bucks, invest in it, and buy all the legendaries when they're super cheap. And just storm away. And if you never use them, hey, you spent three bucks, right? Who cares, right? Maybe you'll have fun playing it with some friends. But there will be, I guarantee, a card or two or maybe more that down the road, they're going to be a broken card. And you're going to be glad you bought it at two bucks and not 50 bucks. Boom. I don't right. think it's going to be 50 bucks. I think it'll be 25 to 30. Yeah, I, mean, no, I, think, yeah. I, think, I think, in all honesty, I think FFG is going to dominate that middle market player, you know? They kind of have to, honestly. I, I guarantee they can, easily. I, I think I think FFG dominates the middle market, not the expensive market. The demos were popular. I will say that. Not 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 the not the not the expensive market like you know Magic the Gathering, Flesh and Blood, Disney, Lorcana. Well, I mean, just think about it, okay. Let's be realistic here, okay. All of these other card games are are so expensive right now. They're outrageously expensive. Mm. FFG comes yeah, but... in, swoops in, makes a middle market card game. You know, eats up that entire chunk of the space. Of the market, boom. Yeah, I, I think I think that's yeah. a great idea. Now, FFG's track record doesn't speak to that by any means. Number one, and number oh, two, I agree. Games, it does like like Flesh and Blood started that same way. They were a middle market card game. They were private, private, no. owner, small. No. Oh, yes, they were. Mm. When they first started, they that were game was market. expensive from the jump. No, 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 definitely expensive. not. No, 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 definitely not. They were a middle market game, and they advertised that, hey, we're not matched at the gathering. You don't have to spend, you know, every... when they first started, it was a $100, $100 $200 buy in for most decks. I mean, you get really good decks. They were really competitive decks. Like Bolton was really competitive. And what was that? 150 Bolton bucks wasn't for the, the deck? Start. The Bolton was not the start. And Bolton was he was, never he, was the, he was the second was... set they released. He was second set released. Uh... And 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 okay, yeah, was at the, the first start. Ever. She was really powerful. You could buy a Dorinthia deck for you know 150, 200 bucks at that point. My Bolton point was is, only good when, because I was really good and I crushed you all the time. I skewed no, your perspective. Bolton, Bolton, Bolton was good. There was a lot of good good little starter sets that when they first came out, you could get a deck for two hundred bucks. And even and even throughout, you still could do that. There was you know uh, Briar. The Briar deck was super competitive. That was a two hundred dollar deck, and they continue to do that. And now they've gotten so greedy. Where now it's a thousand dollar deck, if you're going to be competitive. And so then and, people and so, like us leave and, the game. And that happened. And, that's not and, that happened the game. and that happened within about what a year and a half, two years. Yeah, I don't something I like don't that. See, I don't think they're yeah. going to change that though. And FFG is going to do the exact I, I same thing. I don't think you heard it here. First. If they do, it's not to their benefit though. If It'll they do, them. I think it hurts. The, it, it hurts. hurts really bad. Read and mismanagement, buddy. Read and mismanagement. All right, we well, better wrap this then up. That'll be their, then that'll be their downfall. Yeah. All okay. right. Well, hey, uh, if you've listened this long, uh, good, good on you. Hey, it's just been fun talking a bit, a little bit about yeah, Xander. You better be listening. Trouble. Xander said he was going to listen. Oh, really? Okay. Well, hey. Oh, so man. then, uh, why did you tell us that before with... we bragged on the rock? Because <laughs> I wanted the rock. I wanted <laughs> the rock. <laughs> criticism. Man. The rock. Yeah. Hey, we are not. We are not every man's yeah. podcast, man. We're not the. Hey, we're going to kiss yeah, up to man. FFG because we want to spoil their podcast. So that's yeah, not us. If, if that's what we got to be, time. then it's good of this one time. Thing. Nah, nah. You got to be true. We to need that spoiler. Got to be true. <laughs> hey, to Zander, Zander, we still need a spoiler. <laughs> hey, hey, if hey, we, if you give us a spoil, we'll give you our honest opinion of that spoiler, and, and we'll promote and we will it. We will do a great production. We'll put and something we're gonna, together. Great. We're gonna we're gonna give you a fair shake. We're not gonna we're just gonna go. tear down the game just to tear yeah. down the game. I mean, you know, we'll tell you what's wrong with it, so maybe you can improve it. And so, hey, and if, it's, if you're listening, if you've listened to the end, we'll, we'll you know, do. we would love that. We'd love that this game was a mid price game that you would you would manage it well, yep. and that you keep those Look. price points down. You know, if you do that, that's great. You know, release all those legendaries. Don't just release two of the really crappy ones in every other pack, but release them all. You know, and 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 really do a random. You know, so that. You know, the really good legendaries are out there also. And hey, if you do that, I think this game's gonna be successful. But if you don't, you know, you'll have a you'll have another flash in the pan kind of uh Star Wars Destiny, whatever, two, three years running and and then and then this game will be gone and you'll you'll uh, really discourage your uh your fan Look, base. But FFG, hopefully just keep that price point for a good a good competitive deck. Let's keep it 150, 200 bucks, you know? I'm down for that. Absolutely. Okay. A very competitive yeah, it, at 150, 200. It, That'd be great. I don't think it's going to be that, but if you could keep it at 200 bucks for a competitive deck, the most 
uh, most competitive decks would be two hundred bucks. I would buy the, I would buy this game all day long and play it. That would be amazing. And, and here's the thing, but, okay? Oh, yeah. well, we yeah. have we have your word on that, Coach. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm in it. I'm in it. at two hundred bucks. I'm definitely even though in you it. hate the game, even though you complain about every card you read, <laughs> especially yeah. the fifth brother, because the fifth brother or uh, yeah, the fifth brother was confusing. You still buy the fifth brother. Love to hear it. FFG, I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? Last closing thoughts here, all right? You make it 150, 200 bucks. I bet you, you know, I might buy maybe two decks. You know, I might buy two competitive decks rather than just one. You know, I, I think, I think, I think that's a good thought. You know, because I think that's really what we want as fans. At FFG is we want to be able to have two or three competitive decks. So it, you know, at two at at 200 bucks, if I spend 400 bucks to get really two fun decks, I can get a villain deck, I can get a hero deck, yep, and play those decks. Uh, there you go. And 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 I will and I will give the shout out for FFG. Uh, I I said oh, it. I don't remember how many no months way. ago now that uh, that I asked you to give us a, a, a competitive nothing trash like you've done in the past with Boba Fett, and you did give it to us. I do appreciate that. Boba yeah, Fett's super competitive. He's a great look. he's a great character to play. You tell they release art. some more cards. You, you actually did totally good art Boba on Fett. it. <laughs> you did you did great on the card. It's a fun it's a fun deck to play. It's probably the most competitive deck in the game right now. Both the and leader hey, and the unit are you. good right I now. Really, yeah, I really appreciate that. So hey. Uh, that's a shout out for FFG. Hey, thanks so much for joining us on uh, another episode of Crack Dice Game. We really appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, hit that dislike like. button. Uh, and uh, we uh, we sure appreciate it. Any final thoughts? Oh, that's all I got. Uh, yeah, that's all I got too. Xander, if you're if you listen, uh, let, let us know. Let us know. All right. We need that spoil. We'll do we'll we'll do a great job. We will do a great job. Great production. Great. We'll put a lot of effort. We won't just throw up a PNG on screen and talk about it. It'll be the best choice you ever made. There you go. Give All us, right, this has been Captain Chicago. Give us a shot. There you go. Give us a this shot. Is... Yeah, one shot. All we need is one shot. Give us one yeah. shot, and if we miss, never give us the ball again. There you go. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, this has been uh, Captain Chicago. Uh, may the force be with you.